Welcome everyone to the Cochise College Douglas Campus Virtual Student Awards Ceremony. As the president of Cochise College, I'm excited to have you joining us from wherever you may be and hope that you and your family are doing well. As our college campuses, our nation and even our planet face many uncertainties, we are certain of this one thing. Our students are as amazing as ever. You may have been asked to change where you live, how you take your classes, and how you interact with others. And through these changes and all this added adversity, you have risen to the challenge. I know these last couple months have not been easy and they have not been as we've expected. And I would have loved to have been in front of a packed dining hall full of students, families, and our colleagues. However, we're not able to do that this year. That said, I applaud all of you from this screen and thank you for your hard work and dedication you have shown amazing grit and resiliency. Congratulations to all our award recipients.
Greetings. My name is Verlin Fick, and I am the provost at Cochise College. I would like you to please join me in recognizing the following student scholarship recipients from the Douglas campus for their hard work, dedication, and continued excellence in academic endeavors. Carlos Valdez, All Arizona Academic Team, Second Team Transfer Scholarship Recipient, $750 and a two-year tuition waiver to one of the Arizona public universities. <laughs> Erica Lindemann, All Arizona Academic Team, First Team Transfer Scholarship Recipient, $1,000 and a two-year tuition waiver to one of the Arizona public universities. And Erica also received the Coca-Cola Academic Team Bronze Scholar, $1,000. Kudos to all of you for your great work and best wishes for your continued academic success. The Cochise College Aviation Department recognizes Jordan Buckley as the Outstanding Aviation Student for the 2019-2020 academic year. He has accomplished his private pilot certificate with an instrument rating and is currently working on his commercial pilot certificate. Jordan consistently demonstrates the key characteristics of a professional pilot, integrity, dedication, self-discipline, and leadership skills. Jordan is a role model for incoming students and his peers. He is always willing to jump in and assist in whatever tasks need to be completed. He probably is not even aware that many aviation students look up to him and think of him as a mentor. No matter what flight paths Jordan takes to accomplish his dreams, one thing is certain, and that is he will be an outstanding asset and leader within the aviation community. Hi Yvonne, it's Miss King Power, and I just wanted to say thank you for showing up for doing stellar work, for helping other students, for making cool projects, and for all around being a good egg. I appreciate you, and that is why you are my nominee for English Student of the Year. Take care. Hello, my name is Emily Moxley, and I am the Douglas Campus Library Circulation Coordinator. I am here to present the Outstanding Graduating Library Student Aid Award. The recipient for the Outstanding Graduating Library Student Aid Award is Carlos Ramon Valdez. Personally, I cannot say enough good things about Carlos. I have had the great pleasure of hiring and being Carlos' supervisor in the library. It has been wonderful getting to know this young man and to see his depth of character and kindness. Carlos always goes further than necessary. He is always eager and willing to help and to provide guidance and answers to patrons and to his fellow students. He always greets everyone with a smile. His approachable nature and ability to put those around him at ease has made him a value to the library. His fellow students will approach him to catch up, but more importantly to ask questions about classes, homework, and other reference questions that he is more than willing and able to answer. He has drive and initiative and an openness to connect with those around him that I know will take him far in all his future endeavors. It has been one of my great joys to see Carlos thrive within the library and to fulfill his academic success in his final semesters of attending Cochise College. Congratulations, Carlos. We in the library are so proud of you. Hello everybody, my name is Janae Sanchez and I am an instructor of Digital Media Arts. And today I have the privilege of presenting the DMA Student of the Year Award. This distinguished award honors one student who has completed two or more courses in the DMA program and has shown an incredible amount of growth and achievement in their work. This year's award goes to Ivan Cervantes. Before this pandemic, Poor Ivan would have to spend about 12 hours a week with me as a student of the graphic design class, which is face-to-face -face, and also the digital photography hybrid class. Early on in the semester, I noticed Ivan's natural sense of design and lighting aesthetics in his work, 
but what really stood out to me was his intense work ethic and professionalism. Ivan's passionate dedication to his art is not only inspiring for me as an instructor, but also for his peers. Even through this pandemic, Ivan has continued creating beautiful works of art at times responding to, to this pandemic. And so I'm just so appreciative of the opportunity to have worked with Ivan and being around his sensitive and thoughtful commentary on the world and also his works of art. Ivan, congratulations on all of your accomplishments and I can't wait to see what you do next. Take care. The first ESL Student of the Year Award goes to Cynthia Miranda. Cynthia's hard work, level of commitment, and level of responsibility have earned her the Student of the Year Award. Congratulations, Cynthia. The second ESL Student of the Year Award goes to Rafaela Oliveira. Rafaela came all the way from Brazil to study here in the United States, as well as play soccer for Cochise College. Congratulations, Rafaela. It is my pleasure and privilege to present Kira G with the Music Achievement Award for Douglas Campus and for Cochise College this year. Kira has shared her talents with our larger community, as well as with our college in so many ways, as a tutor, as a performer, as a member of the Douglas Chorus. It's been such a pleasure to work with you and to see you bloom in your craft. We wish for you the very best as you continue to pursue your wonderful talents in music. Thank you so much and congratulations. Hi everyone, Gabriela Mavisco from True here. Uh, we all know that college is not easy and that is why True would like to take a moment to recognize the male and female sophomore TRIO participants with the highest overall GPA, Claritza Campoy and Carlos Valdez. There's no doubt in our minds that with the hard work and dedication you demonstrate that you have both become valuable assets to any organization and to your community. So congratulations you two. I wanted to add that TRUO usually recognizes all sophomores with a 3.5 GPA or above. This year, we would have recognized 33 of our students. See, here they are. The TRUO Model of Perseverance Award is given to students that have had strong reasons to quit school but have decided not to do so. They are great examples of true resiliency. This year recipients are Aliana Vega and Sheila Villa. Congratulations, ladies. We're very, very proud of you. Also, it was very hard to just pick two models of perseverance because so many of our students overcome barriers each day to reach their goals. So congratulations to all of our TRIO students for making it this far. Today, I will be presenting the TRIO Student of the Year Award. This year alone, this student has participated in 23 club TRIO activities at Cochise College and in our community. He has been a constant recruiter for the TRIO SSS program and has volunteered his time to assist our Cochise College TRIO staff. This is a student who advocates for other students and is always connecting students to resources. The student has really embraced the services and opportunities offered through the TRIO program. He has attended our workshops, gone on our campus visits, uh, taken advantage of our career assessments and intrusive advising. He is an exemplary student as well as a person of tremendous character and sig with significant leadership skills. It is my absolute pleasure to present the TRIO Student of the Year Award to Luis Germán Diaz. Cochise Cares is a countywide program that collects self-reported service hours of faculty, staff, students, and even alumni and friends of Cochise College. To date, over 3,850 hours have been collected and 81 service organizations have been helped just in 2019 alone. And we're still not done counting. 
My name is Jennifer Wants, and I'm the Director of Community Relations at Cochise College, and I'm honored to present this year's Student Volunteer of the Year Award for the Douglas Campus. It goes to Adrian Martinez. He has self-reported 91 hours of service from January through December of 2019. He has served Club Trio, the American Cancer Society, the Douglas Food Bank, and Cochise College events like Pit Fire and Commencement. I've been told that he is always willing to jump in and help with anything that needs to be done. Congratulations. For more information about Cochise Cares, please visit our website at cochise.edu backslash cares or download the new Cochise College app today. Have a great day. My name is Margarita Fate and I am the business chair and also the advisor for the business club. We would like to nominate Leslie Romero. Leslie is a dynamic student. She's dedicated, she's ambitious, she's conscientious, she helps students when she's needed. She's a, involved in clubs, trio, the business club. She is a Rotarian and she involves herself in community affairs. Hello, my name is Mary Carmen, and I'm the Student Programming Coordinator for Student Government. On behalf of the Sociology Department and Ms. Patricia Bigwood, I would like to present this year's Sociology Achievement Award to Ms. Maria Valerias Mejorado. Professor Bigwood said the following, Maria has taken several sociology classes with me. I have watched her grow sociologically, developing the ability to see connections between the individual and society at large, and to speak and write with critical thinking and insightful analysis. Congratulations, Maria. Hello out there. My name is Jennifer Tagbon. I'm the Director of Residential and Student Life. I've had the opportunity to work with two great groups of student leaders this year. First, I'd like to recognize our student government officers, Samantha Gonzalez, Luis Estrada, Mary Carmen Brazil, Katie DeLong, Alicia Raber, and Eugene Korliakov. With your hard work and dedication throughout the year, our campus saw many great events and activities. I was proud to watch you all present in front of the governing board, and I was even more impressed when the decision to go all online was made this spring, and you wanted to keep meeting and figure out how to keep our students engaged in some way, which was the birth of our Cochise Quarantine Connections newsletter. This electronic newsletter helped us stay focused and provide information and connections with our students. Thank you all for staying positive, having fun, and an overall great year. I'm Meyer, Associate Athletic Director from Cochise College Douglas Campus. Really thankful and excited for the year we had in athletics. Let's start with the review from Coach Bobby Peters and your ACCAC champion women's soccer team. First of all, I would like to say congratulations, ladies, on the first conference championship in our school's history. With our conference success, um, we were able to break into the NJCA top 20 rankings, and we also had the conference player of the year in Maria Zarias, or better known as Maja to everybody. For this year, for defensive player of the year, we had a couple players um, that I actually chose. The first one I'll, I'll list is Brianna Guzman. She's from Douglas, Arizona. She was one of the top um, save percentages in the country. She was listed NJCA goalkeeper of the week, and she was a leader on the field. She was named captain in midseason by her teammates. The second player, uh, Amanda Acuna, better known as Mandy. Um, she's from El Paso, Texas. She anchored one of the best lines in the country, and she was a leader on and off the field. Uh, Mandy, fantastic job. I think you and Bree did amazing together, um, holding together the back line and, and creating a very, very memorable season. Uh, Golden Boot, that player is Maju. Maju did an amazing job this season coming in and really becoming the catalyst for our offense. Game in and game out, she performed every single day. And for that reason, the conference coaches recognized her as the player of the year as a freshman, which is not easy to do. Maju, congratulations on your Golden Boot Award. Finally, our most valuable player. 
for this year, I picked uh, Leticia Siabra. She was our quarterback on the field, as I told all of our players. I am very proud to have coached her. Congratulations, Leticia, on being our MVP this season. Thanks, Coach Peters. Congrats to your girls on a wonderful year. Let's review the men's basketball season. They finished 23 and eight overall and were 17 and five in the Arizona Community College Athletic Conference. That means that they were ACCAC champs for the second year in a row. That's Coach Creo's eighth conference championship in his career. Coach East was led by sophomore Najee Smith. Najee was a first team NJCAA All-American. Milan Zosbo also earned postseason honors. Milan earned third team all ACC honors and he earned third team all NJCA Region 1 honors. Rounding out postseason awards, freshman Arian Lewis. Arian earned third team all region honors. Congrats, Arian. Congratulations to Coach Carrillo and his team as they continue to dominate the ACCAC. Let's move on and review Coach Laura Hughes' Cochise College women's basketball team. The Lady Apaches were 26-5 overall, 18-4 in ACCAC conference play. Team was led by Raina Suggs, who was first team all ACCAC and a first team all region one performer. Also getting postseason honors were sophomores Kayla Harris, who was second team all region, second team all conference, while Charmaine Finley and Venetia Sherrod wrapped up the, the postseason honors were third team ACC honors and second team NJCA region honors. Congratulations to our Lady Apaches. Let's move on and talk about the Cochise College rodeo teams. The Men's rodeo team finished second in the region, in the Grand Canyon region, while the women finished first overall in the Grand Canyon region. The men also finished 20th on the national level, while our women finished third place overall in the country. Leading the men's team was Sherrick Sanborn. Sherrick was fourth overall in the men's all-around points. Stuart Wright was first in saddle bronc riding, and Kai Rockhill came in eighth in saddle bronc riding. Meanwhile, on the women's side, Coach East was first overall in total points. And on the women's all-around, Jill Donnelly and Jessica Pornier came in first and second for Coach East. Way to go, girls. Even with their spring season getting cut short, Rick and Lynn Smith continue to put out really successful teams on both the men's and women's side of the rodeo team. And let's wrap up the year with Coach East College men's baseball. Even though head coach Todd Englehart's season was cut short, they still started off 17 and 12 overall and were six and eight in conference. The guys were just heating up winning five of their last six games prior to the end of the season. We look forward to the Coach East College men's baseball team returning stronger than ever in 2021. Go Apaches. Hi, it's Jen again. Wanted to talk about that second group of student leaders that I get to work with every year, our resident assistants. Each semester, these students arrive early to participate in training where we develop trust, build teamwork, supply shop, and prepare to welcome our residents home. The REs are responsible for coordinating nightly activities as well as making sure our students are safe. When they're not busy with lockouts, rounds, planning events, or homework, they enjoy having fun and hanging out too. Thank you to this spring semester RAs. Erica Lindemann, Ivan Sarantes, Hedda Ruelas, Juan Fimbres, and Pollyann Duran. Our weekly meetings were always, well, interesting and entertaining. I appreciate all the memories and laughs and those sticky notes. Now let's take a look back at some of the memories we made living here on campus this year.
Next, let's take a look at our student clubs on the Douglas campus. Did you know we have 11 active clubs? Well, I did just show them to you all on that last slide. But yes, 11. Being involved with student activities can really help you make some of the best connections and memories while in college. Check out some of the activities, performances, community service, and trips these clubs did this year. Jerry is a new member to PTK and already an asset to the club. He has natural leadership skills and is always willing to lend a hand. His dedication and easygoing personality has been much appreciated this year. Way to go, Jerry! Abraham is being recognized for his outstanding service and leadership in all aspects of club activities and for going above and beyond required responsibilities. Congrats, Abraham! Emilio and Evelyn, Norma wants to recognize each of you for your outstanding leadership and service to the club this year. Great job making this a memorable year for the club. How about that Disney trip? Congrats to you both. Hello, my name is Luis Carlos Estrada and I'm the Vice President of Student Government. Today, I'm honored to present the 2019-2020 Instructor of the Year Award. This year, we had more than 23 instructors nominated. And this year's award goes to the one with the most nomination, Dr. Carlos Quijada. He is the Instructor for Psychology and I was more than happy to be able to take one of his classes during this semester. And he was always inspiring us. I think we all appreciate you, Carlos, and we're more than happy to have you as our instructor during this semester. This instructor is not only good with teaching psychology, but can develop a comfortable environment in his classroom that helps the students feel at ease and ready to learn. His teaching abilities help the students find a fun and creative way to learn psychology. Thank you, Carlos, for everything you taught us during this semester, and congratulations for your award. Hello, my name is Samantha Gonzalez, student government president. Today, I have the honor of presenting the Outstanding Douglas Campus Sophomores of the Year. The first recipient of this award is Ms. Erica Lindman. Erica is from Douglas, Arizona and has been an active member in many clubs while at Cochise. This year, she also took on the role of Program Assistant for the TRIO program and became a resident assistant in the spring. In Erica's nominations, it was noted that she has maintained a 4.0 GPA while being highly engaged with community service and school activities. She coordinated the Hunger Games food drive, was a team captain for the Relay for Life, and attended conferences as part of the undergraduate research team. She also participated in the PTK Honors in Action project, just to name a few. Erica has been a great asset to the Douglas campus as a student, classmate, and colleague. Congratulations, Erica. Our second student of the year is someone I've been able to work with in the past years, Mr. Luis Estrada. Luis is from Hermosillo, Mexico, and has demonstrated many leadership qualities while being at Cochise College. Luis is our student government vice president, and in addition to his role with SGA, Luis is also a financial aid student worker. He's also a member in many clubs, including PTK, the Business Club, and Club Trio. He was described as someone who helps others often because he truly cares. Jim Luis has organized toy drives and also dressed up as superheroes to deliver presents to young children in the hospital. 
Luis doesn't make excuses and manages his responsibilities while always wanting to improve. In efforts to raise money for this year's food pantry, Luis was responsible for selling the most boxes of donuts, nearly $500 worth. His work ethic and drive to succeed is what truly sets Luis apart. Congratulations, Luis. I would also like to say thank you to our staff and faculty to take the time to nominate students. Our campus has many wonderful students and we appreciate you wanting to help recognize them. Thank you. I'd like to thank the following staff and students for helping to make this virtual student ceremony possible. And a big thank you to our Dean of Student Services, Dr. Bo Hall, for his leadership and support throughout the year.